Um, we talk a lot about downtown walkability. Um, there's, there's a lot of like, areas that we know are tricky because of the highway situation, but it doesn't make it very easy to either cross the road or make a loop of downtown. Um, and also leading into kind of downtown development of what's the reason to walk the loop downtown. Um, mm -hmm. There seems to be pockets of interest and then long bouts of not much of interest. So either promoting through art installations or story walks or other kind of local engagements um, along that way. <laughs> Anybody else from this table want to add anything? We did come back to transportation and a public version of that to integrate some of the hot spots down kind of even up into like the past foods area behind there that one big dilemma you have is like how can you get to where you're trying to go without having to go back to car right? yeah. there was a like a circulator of sorts yeah. or something they have, and they have like the road closures too but anytime you go from that lower up the elevation change there's definitely that that distinction between yeah. i did i did note today what a great view the car wash has how about the core legs the group over here in the in the corner? Were there any any key themes that you noted yeah. or any big ideas that you wanted to share? Well I think our big focus was on the way amenities, the, the use of the waterfront for uh, boat access. Um, I think uh, locations of uh, some additional Restaurant, fast food, uh, coffee shops, although it's kind of identified that those probably would be best located at the end of uh, College Avenue and, and the highway, which is in the township. So can you guys, can you guys hear over there now? Could you turn and face down so they can... They can so we focused on... Or, or stand up. The act, we focused on the access to voting. <laughs> <laughs> the access along the shoreline, we focused on housing, and we focused on amenities.